the power episode two what we think is going to happen and before we start out i got to show y'all a little clip because this is going to lead into the things i think might happen on episode two let's take a look Ladies and gentlemen, they ain't show that gentleman for nothing. They ain't mm. show Mr. Tejada for nothing. I do feel I don't think he's gonna be in episode two, but he's definitely gonna rear his head sooner or later. Tariq yeah. doing research on that man lets you know that they're trying to push the ghost mantra through Reek, showing that he's doing his homework on either potential partners or adversaries. And then you see at the very end, they zoomed in on Mary J. Blige, which was letting you know that Tariq heard everything going on at that cookout. He observed and took in everything like a sponge in the desert that found an oasis. That little boy soaked it up. And furthermore, there's supposed to be a big twist this season, ladies and gentlemen. Larry, I have found out on special news from some great subscribers, somebody on this season is a nympho do you care to guess who that person is wait in real life or just on the show no man and on the show man God, oh, look. God, here we go man just, lord <laughs> have mercy <laughs> damn it man i've been wondering you, you didn't specify so you know i i had to make sure this i had guy. to make sure <laughs> <laughs> no man on the show man on the show <laughs> somebody is a sex addict i've got the picture but do you care to take one guess at who that person is man i'm well we've already seen what's his name just getting it in and didn't care that Tariq even walked in the room so i'm gonna well, have let, to go ahead and say zeke you are wrong and Woo! let me let me rephrase the question happy? Let me, rephrase, let me rephrase the question for you. Who would you want to be a sex addict on this season? Oh, man. Effie. <laughs> okay, Ramona. never mind. That, that's your answer. This is supposedly the sex addict right here. And I, I'm you sure you, you don't mind her being a sex addict, do you? No, no. But I can see that for the story because we already know that she had trouble with her relationship. So I can see that something that happened with that. Bingo. So, yeah. Bingo. And who do you think is going to have to calm down her overflowing panty draws? Well, I'm sure that's going to be Tariq. It's going to be Tariq. It, it'll be Tariq until Tommy gets there for the funeral and then Tommy meets her and then Tommy smashes and then him Tariq got beef over a girl, which would be dumb, but it could happen. Definitely. Said. So so having give you given you the setup for all these seeds that they're planting in this season, Larry, what do you see happening as the main plot line for episode two? Um, For episode two, let's see. Well, I, I'm assuming that we're going to learn some more about, um, we're going to learn some more about Mary J's, Mary J's uh, husband, the one that's locked up in jail. Mm -hmm. We're probably, uh, we're probably going to learn a little bit more about um about Sax's family and what's going on with him because I feel mm -hmm. like this is probably a good episode to sneak some of that in because I, I know some people don't really care so much about that they're not all that interested and so this is probably an episode two episode three is probably a good episode to get some of that stuff in because I don't mm -hmm. think people always are expecting a whole lot in those sort of you know filler episodes um but I would actually like to see where Tariq is going to go with his with his drug business. So I, I kind of want them just to hurry it up and pick up the pace. So, you know, I know that they did a lot in the first episode, but I want to see them jump right into the game with him where he gets his hustle started so that they can get all because all that all the conflict, I feel like all the conflict that's going to happen, all of the all the, the craziness about him getting in trouble, him having to fight him and have to kill people or whatever they might end up having to do whether Tasha is going to be there for him out of jail, whether Tommy needs to come to the rescue, all that I think is going to happen with Tariq back in the game. 
So I want them to hurry up and get him back in the game so that all that stuff can happen. I don't want to wait around for three, four episodes as they build up to it. Are, are we are we going to get Ghost Funeral in episode two? Um, the trailer made it seem as though we're going to get something like that. But do you foresee them not only giving us the funeral, but actually showing the body in the casket? Because that's what everybody's waiting for. I, I'm, I'm inclined to say that it's going to happen during episode three. Oh, it might even be a little later only because I feel like, I feel like Tasha will probably be there, whether she's there on, <clears throat> whether they, they have her furloughed or something so she can go or she's able to manage to get out of jail. I think she'll probably be there. And so I just don't see how they're going to make that happen in one episode. So I think we'll probably, or in, in this next episode. So I think maybe we'll see the funeral in, in episode three, maybe four. They still need to plan it, it sounds like. Well, here's somebody we know that, that is popping up this episode. Councilman Tate. He's going to be in this yeah. episode. He's going to be interviewed by Steve from the DNC and also by uh, John Mock. And we've also mm -hmm. seen where he's carrying a part of that casket that's supposed to have ghosts in it. So mm. what what do you think they're going to be able to squeeze out of Councilman Tate? Me personally, Councilman Tate is an opportunist. Yeah. And, and I'm sure they want us to think that he's going to spill all his guts about James. I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think the DNC is going to allow him to do that because... He is going to be stepping in that role as governor slash lieutenant governor, and he's not going to be able to spill the bean. So, right. and then furthermore, if he did run his mouth about all of James' dealings, why in the hell would he be helping bury James? So, what do you think is going to come from Councilman Tate? Um. <clears throat> well. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with his character, to be honest with you. I mean, and, and, and in part because his character was so not compelling to me. I have not given him a second thought throughout all of this, through all the time off of waiting for this to come back and thinking about what could be. Councilman Tate is someone that has been completely forgettable to me. I hadn't even considered what he might do or what he might be up to or, or where his character might go. I just, because he's, I mean, he was a non- a non-factor for me in a lot of ways. He's, I just, I didn't like his character. I still don't like his character very much. It was, you know, not that nothing against the actor. I mean, what's his name? Lorenz Tate's a fine actor. I just don't particularly care for that character. He's, he's not <laughs> compelling at I, all. I, like, I, I would like for them. Maybe they should make him worse. Maybe they should make him completely corrupt. He still seems like he's trying to be a, an honest dude, but playing in a dishonest game. I feel like they need to just send him down one path or the other where he has to be a straight up boy scout and then he doesn't play by it. He, he's going to go ahead and, and work with law enforcement and everything else or he needs to just go to the other side hmm. and because the way he's sort of way they have him right now with where they have him where they've written his character where he sort of has one foot on both sides of the line it just isn't working for him you know, well, as Trisha C just mentioned Larry the only way you're getting Ramona back is through Tate so you better hope they utilize Tate so that you can get your Ramona back on the show. That's the and I have to agree with her. The I, don't only, know why, I don't know why you have to get all personal with it, man. Now you're gonna make me have to root for this dude. You come have on, to root man. For man. Come I, on, Trevor. You know I don't want to root for, for Councilman Tate, but now I mean if you're gonna make me choose between him and Ramona, I guess I'm gonna have to root for him so Ramona can come back. I you I know? didn't have a problem with his character. I actually like this character. Um, I like how he thought he was the man and he got caught up cheating with his campaign manager's wife and how he tried to big strong arm Ramona. Maybe that's why you don't like him, because he was trying to strong arm Ramona and you really want her for your own um, narcissistic pleasures. And Councilman Tate was about to lay it down with her. <laughs> no, he would never be known. She won no parts of him. She saw right through him. Well, I'll tell you, one of the reasons why I didn't like Councilman Tate was because his character was sort of shifty and slimy, but he wasn't really good at what he did. He was all, he, okay. he seemed like he was fairly easily outmaneuvered. Okay. And, okay. and it just, you know, I mean, if you're going to be, if you're going to be 
outmaneuvered that easily, you need to be someone that is of upstanding moral character so that other people can't come in and just take advantage of you when you're doing something slimy. Well, if you're well, on, the, on the up and up, uh, the utmost up and up, there's there's not a whole lot that people can do to take advantage of your weak spots because you don't have that many if you're being on that up. But he was he was slimy and doing shifty stuff. And But Larry, I, I Larry, like, the only person that was in front of him all the time was Ghost. But having said that, Ghost was two steps ahead of everybody. I mean, he wasn't just in front of Ghost. I mean, the white woman ended up running for governor. She was ahead of him, too. Yeah, she, 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 well, the only reason she got in, ahead of him was because she pulled the rug from underneath um, him with James. And James went and did his thing with her and got right underneath her. That and was again, a like I said, again, he was outmaneuvered. I just, I just don't, I just don't like the character. I think he's weak. Maybe he'll be more interesting. And in I just don't like, I mean, What's his name? Played the character just fine. It's just the character, the way they have written him. He's just a. I just don't like that dude. So you, so you hate him more than Tariq. No, I don't hate him. I just don't like him. You dislike him more than Tariq. No. <laughs> Tariq is. <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's finish this off. So preview episode two, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, things that must happen. We've got to learn more about Mary J. Blige's family organization. They're going to mm. have to tell us that because Tariq is going to have to partner with someone to get his drugs. I don't see yeah. him continuously going back to Effie. He might try that, but at some point in time, she's going to cut it off. So in this I episode, we're going to have to learn more about the Tejada family, what their real dealings are, and what type of business, the level of business they're doing. We're going to learn about that in this episode. You know what I understand is that when you have when you have someone that is as big as Ghost was and as big as Tommy was, you know who they are. All those people in the game know who each other is. They have to because you need to maintain. So for just for safety reasons, you don't want to go step on somebody's toes and then find yourself with the back of your head missing. And so so I can't imagine that Mary J Blige and her crew did not know who Tommy and Ghost were. And as a consequence, know who, know who Tariq is. Mm -hmm. And so it's not like it's, it shouldn't it shouldn't be like there's some sort of thing with her. Like, who is he? We need to check out. Need to check him out. I don't know if we can trust him. She should know who he is. Mm -hmm. They should know. All, they should all know each other. I mean, in New York, it's small as hell on top of that. You know. So Trisha C says she only remembers the Lobos and the Milan drug dealers. She forgot about the rest. How could you forget about the Jimenez? The sister and the brother. I love that those two. Now, a Lobos was my favorite one, but the Jimenez, I actually like them too. And at we have to assume that the Tejadas and the Tejada daddy that's in jail, like mm -hmm. like Larry said, they have got to know these cartel people. They've got to know. And I think that at some point in time, there's going to be a connection made and probably the family's going to be told as we've already seen Mary J. Blige highlighting, whenever you deal with Tariq, you either go to jail or you die. So it sounds like right. she's going to be trying to play Tariq via the daughter. And what's going to be the explosive part is maybe the daughter really and truly falls in love with Tariq and that creates a dilemma for the mama. Now we know Kane, he ruthless. He could give a damn care less about anybody and would probably put a cap in Reek. But the sister, it seems like he loves his sister, is probably going to be the fly, quote unquote, in the ointment. You know, it'd be interesting if they get if they get two bit up out of jail. And two bit sort of becomes and two bit sort of becomes Tariq's Kane. Or Kanan, man, because, because you know, Ghost had his Kanan and if, and if Tariq has his two bit, you know, because he, I mean, two bit and Kanan are, are are the same in a lot of ways. Both of them are in the game. Both of them are survivors. Both of them are pretty smart. They're both extremely hot headed and will kill somebody in a heartbeat, sort of before they truly think about it. I think that could, I think that could work out if somehow, if somehow two bit gets up out of jail, and ends up going and working with Tariq or some. I don't know. I don't know, man. I wouldn't mind seeing that duel together. For the longest time last year, they made it seem like 
two bit and Tariq was gonna hook up and be called 22 bit and it never happened. So <laughs> we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, post all your comments down below.